Hey, welcome to CS Connect. My name is Mike. Hey, I'm Diana. I'm Pat. Today, we're talking about frustration. Hey, so today we're having a conversation about frustration. And I was just sharing with you guys, it was two days ago. And it was just a beautiful morning sitting on my back porch. And within minutes of, I'm gonna have an amazing day. I got an email and instantly I am just so annoyed. Mm-hmm. I, already, ever, I already apologize for that. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't you. But now everyone watches like, I wonder what the email yeah. is. Uh, isn't it interesting though how in seconds of time, we can go from things are normal to we're really frustrated about a situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's not like something you could ignore. It's like, no, I'm derailed. Like I'm thinking about it. I'm mad. I'm angry. Like it's consuming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It takes it takes over in a lot of ways in that moment. Mm-hmm. And it just got me thinking about how human it is to have those experiences. Like, you know, we want to avoid those kind of things in our life, but there's just this moment of these things happen, right? These things come at us. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jesus said that tribulation, we're going to see it on this earth, right? We're going to see things that are just hard to process and handle. And so I thought, what if we just talked about frustration? What does it look like for a follower of Jesus to be frustrated? Because it's so easy to think that's anti-Christian, but it's actually what we do in that moment. Uh, that determines our faith in Jesus, right? And I think that's it. It's what we do when we're frustrated. So just because we get frustrated doesn't mean we've got this like pass to do whatever we want. I think for me, one of the things mm. I've learned is that when you're frustrated, um, your actions or lack of actions, your attitudes, they affect more than just you, mm. right? Mm-hmm. Like I know that seems so elementary, yeah. but when yeah. you're frustrated, it spills over and affects people that you don't even realize that it's that's affecting. That's true, yeah. yeah. So the choice we have is how we react in the frustration, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Well, and when you were talking about frustrations too, I think the other thing that's interesting about it is we we all have our own little pet peeves or our own little things that frustrate. So what frustrates you may not frustrate me or what bothers you, apparently emails. <laughs> Some of them. It, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it may not bother me. Yeah. Which is part of the problem. Then uh, if if you're not frustrated with what I'm frustrated with, and then I start bleeding on you, so mm-hmm. to speak, because I'm so angry about it, it that that's part of the problem. And doesn't it make you more frustrated when I don't care about what you're frustrated <laughs> oh, about? Yes, exactly. <laughs> there's, exactly. There's just so many things. Like it can be we don't get something we need. Mm-hmm. We don't get something we want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it can be in, in the situation of that email. I had an expectation on a person mm-hmm. that just wasn't reasonable. Mm-hmm. I, I thought they should understand this. But the truth is, is they had no real reason to understand what it was I expected them to do in that moment. Yes. I also think sometimes we can get frustrated about justice things, like some piece yeah. of God's heart that he's entrusted to us to steward. Mm. And when it feels broken some way, it causes frustration, which isn't necessarily wrong. God got um, frustrated that they were selling. Jesus got frustrated in the temple when they were selling money mm-hmm. and he turns the tables over, yeah. but mm-hmm. he didn't sin. Yeah, right, right. So I think that what Pat is saying is we've got a choice to what are we going to do with our with our frustration? Are we going to harm other people? Are we going to fester on it and just create this case of I'm so right, they're so wrong and really slander people in our minds? Don't we do that? Yeah, it's so easy. Mm -hmm. Or are we going to say, hey, I've got a choice here of yes, I can acknowledge I'm frustrated, but let's choose some healthy outlets for that. Yeah. And I like the word you use there, choice. Because the circumstances we're in sometimes, we can't choose the circumstances. Whatever is frustrating us, that that isn't a choice, really. Mm -hmm. Uh, We can't control it. Mm -hmm. We can control our response. Absolutely. Yeah, that's good. So this is supposed to be a how-to life hack. And we're going off on a lot of conversations here. What if we give those who are watching just like four or five things real quick that just say, hey, here's here's what we do when we're frustrated. So I'll kick it off. Uh, In that moment, I did this thing. I picked up the phone. And I called somebody that I trust and I vented and asked for advice. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like a good way to deal with something that you might be going through is you you might just have to pick up the phone and talk to somebody and say, hey, can you help me through this? Right. I don't want to do the wrong thing. And the person says something, they're like, respond, send me your email before you hit send, (laughs) (laughs) which is great. Right. What do you guys do when you're frustrated? Yeah. I think for me, one of the tips is to, I've got to get outside. I've got to change my environment because Mm -hmm. if you're sitting in your office and you're frustrated in your office, it's hard for me to shift my thinking unless Mm. I get in a new environment and somehow being outside the sky is bigger. God is in control. It's fresh air. Um, So Mm -hmm. getting out of that environment for a minute, getting outside our keys. That's really good. Uh, There's kind of a theme here because when you asked that question, my first thought was I need to go out and take a walk. Mm. So it's the same kind of thing. But I think the theme is 
you step back from it for a moment, mm -hmm. right? Just take a breath, step back, whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you need to go outside. For me, it's taking a long walk. Mm -hmm. For you, it's step back, have someone connect yeah, with you. That's yep. good. Yeah. That's good. I just read something yesterday that said uh, to observe your frustration and not be absorbed by your frustration. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of what we're saying is, uh, hey, get, get to the space that you need to be in to look at it and say, what's going on here? What is it that's really bothering me? And how can I make sure I handle this in a healthy way? Yeah. Can you say that again? That's really good. Too. Yeah. It, it said, observe your frustration. Don't be absorbed by your frustration. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. So. And sometimes I think in order to observe it, you have to acknowledge it. And sometimes that means feeling it. So sometimes that means uh, journaling it out. Sometimes that means mm. uh, crying. Sometimes that means, oh, being intense. <laughs> like, I know that's cheesy, but you've got to express it in a safe place, not towards people, mm. um, but get it out so then you can actually observe it. Yeah, it's um, good. I, I love how uh, David in Psalm 34, he said that the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and he saves those whose spirit is crushed. Mm. And isn't it cool to know that even as believers in Jesus, that in moments of frustration, that there's a human element going on there that God is close to. We're That's not good. isolated yeah. from him. We're close to him in that moment. So we hope this helps you today. Uh, tell us in the comments how you deal with frustration. Uh, hopefully the healthy ways you deal with frustration. Uh, but share your ideas, your tips with us. Thanks for tuning in.